welcome viewers to another episode in this series of episodes where we've continued to look at the 2023 internal mathematics paper 2. If you haven't seen the other episode, please check out on our YouTube channel and also don't forget to download the companion app where we'll be able to find all the exam past papers, quizzes that we can help to practice. Remember, practice makes it permanent. Let us look at question 11. 11 elites in the following triangle PQ equals 41.6 meters, PR equals 70 meters, and angle PQR equals 105 degrees. Calculate Loma numero 1 angle QPR, Loma numero 2 the area of triangle PQR, Loma numero 3 the shortest distance from Q to PR. Thus 9 marks. Then of course, question B solve the equation. Theta equals 2.75 for interval. Theta lies between 180 degrees to 270 degrees. Then simplify that. So these are the questions. So let us start with question A, which carries 9 marks. Then we we'll move to B and C. So if you look at this trigonometry question, it's a standard question that comes, and you expect these three questions. So it's a matter of looking at what you've been given, then determine whether you're using the cosine law or sine law. So if you look at what we have, we've been given one angle and the opposite side. That angle and the corresponding opposite side, then we've been given one side, then the other corresponding angle is not given, which is this angle. This angle is not given. But the question is asking us to find or calculate QPR, which is this angle. I'm going to use the black, this angle. This is the angle, so I'll call this angle to be X. So we are looking for x. How can we find x? Let me call the other angle to be y. So what I know is this. So x plus y plus 105 degrees must equal to 180. So we need to use this principle. So how can we find y? Because if you know y, then you can find x. We can find y using the sine law, which states that the ratio of a given angle to its opposite side is the same for all the three angles and corresponding sides. So in this case, I can use this fact that sine y over 41.6 meters must equal to sine 105 degrees over 70 meters. So this ratio must hold. Then you can solve for y. That's what we need to use. So I create space. So since I've created space, so it means sine y is equal to what is it now? So this multiplied by that one. So it becomes for 1.6 meters multiplied by sine 105 degrees divided by 70. That's what it is. So 41.6 meters times sine 105 degrees over 70 meters. What you notice is this meter and this meter cancels. Then simplifying this one tells me that I have sine y equals using the calculator 0 0.57409. Then sine y is equal to sine inverse. So I multiply by this inverse both sides so that sine and the this inverse will cancel. Or I divide by sine. Then this, let me put it in black, so that is unique, 0 0.57409. Then just go to the calculator and f look for the second function where you find the inverse, then followed by 0 0.57409. We are going to get 35.032144. which is y is equal to 35 degrees. That's the value of y. So now from here, we found the value of y. You can find the value of the value of x. So let me just proceed here. What this tells me is I'm going to have x plus 35, which is y, plus 105 degrees mass is equal to 180. Then x plus 140 is equal to 180. Then x is equal to 180 minus 
140 so x is equal to 40 degrees therefore angle q p r is equal to 40 degrees like that then you are good to go you get the five max which is this one then Roman number two the area of triangle p q r so this one becomes easier so make sure that you get the first question correct if you if you don't get the first question correct then you would have messed up everything so this is 40 degrees so just use these two sides and this side then use this formula area is equal to half then a b then sine theta the theta in this case is a 40 40 is a theta then we shall call this to be a then this one to be b so these two a b are the sides subtending this okay so if you want this is r so this is small r this is small q then this is small p so it's the same as area is equal to half r multiplied by q multiplied by sine 40 degrees that's what you use so let us go where the space and use this formula so we know what r is r is 41.6 q is 70 then sine q or the q itself is 40 degrees so this is a roman numeral 2 so area is equal to half multiplied by 41.6 multiplied by 70 then multiplied by sine 40 degrees at this point we just need to use our calculator so area is equal to 935.899 meters square because remember this is meter and this is meter so to three significant figures so we have 936 meters square as the answer then let us move to the last question on question m the shortest distance from q to pr again this question is a question that you expect to have an exam so once you find the area if you get the area correct this question becomes easier and straightforward so the only thing that you need to understand is the principle then we proceed with the formula so what it means is we say from p this one so you're looking for this this one so for us to find the shortest distance this angle should be 90 degrees if that angle is not 90 degrees it means this will be longer this will be longer so we are looking for the line in such a way that it's perpendicular to this one that's the line we're looking for at that point so what we do is we use the formula that we have l which is the length in this case is the q q is equal to the l but that length is divided into two components so we have a small l1 and l2 so the area of this side is just this height multiplied by that plus the area of this side it will be so it's going to have the common height so at the end of the day is the area of this is equal to half times l1 plus l2 times height because they are both multiplying by the height but this one is just q so meaning the area is just half times q times h then so for h so is that principle that we use so we know the base is 70 which is the length the total length q is 70 so we use this fact which is loma numero 3 that area is equal to half times q times h so shortest distance is the h we are looking for so what we do is we know that this is the same as 2a we just cross multiply 2a is equal to q times h then therefore h is equal to divide by q both sides is equal to 2a divided by uh, q so meaning h is equal to 2 times 936 meters square divided by 70 meters then at this point we can use our calculator once we use our calculator we're going to discover that we're going to get 26.739964 meters which is the same as h is equal to 26.70 meters so this is the shortest distance so let us move to question b solve the equation 
tan theta equals 2.75. So what we need to do, we need to make an assumption. So let, let me put B here. So the assumption is we're going to say let this theta equals 180 plus alpha. Why are we doing this? Because tan is positive in the first and third quadrant. So tan, remember all students take chemistry. So tan is only the positive in two quadrants. This one and this one. The red one. This side. That's why we are. So we are adding to 180. So it should be above 180. That's why we are adding this alpha. Then we can proceed to solve for alpha. So whenever there is theta, we are going to replace it with alpha for now because we need to start with the first one. So it's going to be tan alpha equals 2.75. Then we solve for alpha. So alpha is equal to tan inverse 2.75. Then we use our calculator. We are going to discover that the angle equals 70.0168 nine which is the same as alpha is equal to 70 degrees like that but we found alpha but we're looking for theta so if you notice the interval is this interval should lie in that interval so the only solution is one which is in the third quadrant therefore theta equals 180 plus 70 degrees which is alpha which when you add this is going to give us 250 so 250 is the correct answer and 250 lies between somewhere 180 degrees and 270 that's how you answer this question then we look at question c so question c is asking us to simplify so what you notice is the d below is already simplified so we need to deal with him the numerator so let's start with the numerator so we know that 3d square minus 27 is equal to 3d square minus 9 then the d square minus 9 is the same as d square plus 0 d minus 9. So we're looking for two numbers by using factorization in such a way that when we multiply them, they'll give us negative 9. When we sum them, they'll give us 0. So those two numbers are positive 3 and negative 3. So we're going to have d square minus 3d plus 3d which is this is the special zero then minus nine factoring this one out tells me that we're going to have d outside so d into d square is d d into negative three d is negative three then plus three three into three d is a d three into negative nine is negative three so you notice that these two must be the same. If they're not the same, you've messed up somewhere. Then I can factor out d minus 3. So I'm going to have d minus 3 out into all this to give me d into all this to give me plus 3. So therefore, we can proceed now to say 3d square minus 27 over d plus 3 equals equals this 3 remember this 3 we factored out so that's 3 multiplied by this one factorized this version factorized which is this part then we are going to have d minus 3 times d plus 3 over d plus 3 you notice that this one and this one cancels. So I'm going to remain with 3 multiplied by d minus 3. So this is the simplified version of this function. Once you do that, you're good to go. Then you get the 12 marks. Thank you for joining me in this episode. Please join me in the next episode as we look at question 12.